So it's all about what you want, isn't it? Yes, eh? Keen, it is. I don't have the strength to think about anyone else. You and me. What? Well, can't you see it? See what? Just give me another chance. You are not listening to me. No, you're not listening to me. I am trying to tell you that I do not need you in my life. I need someone that I can rely on, someone that will still be there in the morning. You know, a man who can love me. You, you've got one! There you go, sir. Door-to-door -door service. You know, I could get used to this ferrying around arrangement. You couldn't pick me up and drop me off at the pub there, could you? And can you guess how many fingers I'm about to hold up? All right. What a lady. Fancy coming in for a brew? No, we don't all have the time. Right then, off you go to work then. Going. Love you. What? If it had spoken to me like that in the old days, it had been an intensive care by now. Oh, and that's progress, is it? All the fighting in the world won't bring our baby back. I know. I'm sorry. Just wish we could turn back the clock. And I love you. I love my son too. And I want to find some way that we can get along. You know, for someone who's been getting up at the crack of dawn all the life, you are rubbish at keeping quiet. Well, it's only recently I've had to start sneaking about. Oh, what a face. And believe me, it's all part of being the farmer's wife. What you said yesterday... Hey, yeah, can, um... Can we not do this now? It's just, um... I've got a full day with my dad today. It's going to be hard enough to keep it work as it is. Oh. You taking him to the auction? Yeah. I thought I could do the day away. No talking, then. <sighs> One more thing. I love you. Well, yeah, now's not a good time. No, 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 it's OK. I'll be quick. I need to say this. You just surprised me yesterday. And the reason I reacted like I did was because of me, of how I am, it's got nothing to do with you. And I know you sometimes think that I'm trying to change you, make you something you're not. But I promise you, I'm in love with you now, who you are now. And I don't want that to ever change. Do you honestly still think that Ross is the problem here? No. The problem is we can never work while you're still in love with the dead man. I never said that my feelings towards John would change and you've no right to expect they will. You can't just wipe clean feelings when you meet someone else. I did for you. I used to think that I loved charity. It's not the same. No. No. Charity didn't die. You still have her. I don't want anybody else, Moira. You don't know how much I've done for you. How much you've taken over my life. I love you. Not stopping long. Do I even get to know where you've been? I've been giving charity one. That's what you thought, isn't it? I'll leave you to it. Can you blame me? My mates asked me to take a car over to Whistley for him. I wasn't going to do it at first, but I've changed my mind. Why are you doing this? Me doing it? Well, I know we've got problems, but I love you. I, I thought you knew that. But you love John more. How many more times? John's gone. Yeah, I noticed. I'm not sure you have, though. Do you know what? Fine. If you want to be jealous of a dead man, then go. Take all the time you need. How long does it take to see you next year? 
I just need some air. The champagne's gone to my head. You hate it, don't you, Alice? No, I love it. I really do. Then what's up? Nothing. Look, I wasn't dribbling, farting, or chucking my food around, so it must be something I said. It's more what you didn't say. Oh, never mind, let's just get back in there and get on with it. Come on. You thought I was going to propose? Well, it doesn't matter now. You did, didn't you? Well, it's all of this. I mean, it's so not like you. <laughs> and that's what you want? Well, if you'd have asked me, I'd have told you. Well, I thought about it. But then I thought about how you knocked me back last time. What we've got is good, and I don't want it to change. It doesn't mean to say that I don't love you, because I do. And I love you. Happy New Year. I can't believe you brought all that up. It's always been there between us. James, I'm with Keen now. Yeah, and you know that it's not gonna last. I love him. You think about us, I know you do. Oh, you couldn't be more wrong. Is this because of James? Why would it be? I don't know, maybe, maybe you're trying to show there's nothing left for him. To prove it to him. I don't need to prove anything to James. No? No. More up until yesterday, this bloke was just your annoying brother-in-law. Now I'm finding out he's had a thing for you. Still does, apparently. So much to the point that he gets you to a posh hotel and makes a pass at you. I just want to know the full story. Well, that is the full story. But and there's really nothing else? No. Look, I promise. I asked you because I love you. And after what went on today, and after what you did, all of this, making me go for that deal because I wanted it, supporting me. Right. Okay. Well, it's not okay, is it? Not now that I've said it. Well, I knew this was a mistake. Oh, the moment the words came out of my mouth. I wouldn't have minded, but you started all of this. Me? Yes, you. You put the idea into my head first. You proposed first. Now I'm realising how much I care about you. I mean, what the hell did you expect was going to... Is that a yes? Of course it's a flaming yes. <laughs> Did he get down on one knee? Do you really want to know? Mm. I asked him. I asked him because I love him and he's the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. I am glad that you and I are working together, and I think we could be really good business partners. But let's be totally clear about one thing. That is all it will ever be. And if you even think of trying to mess it up for me, then you'll be gone before you've had time to pack. <laughs>